Today, I have a little special package to open. This is a booster box of light and shadow. There are 24 boosters in this with 11 cards. These are boosters and not the um, battle packs. So, <clears throat> this is one of the oldest sets, or one of the <clears throat> one of the latest latest sets that AEG did 2007. Um, <clears throat> there aren't a ton of cards in this set. The reason that the, bo the box is small. 18 cards. And then of course there's 11 Warlords. Um... And uh, this is getting so old that the, the glue has started to come loose on the uh, back of the box. <clears throat> um, also, I know I've been a little out of um, whack with my openings where my camera is, so I've tried to adjust that. Hopefully I have corrected that issue. Have rattled the bones. Move up to three characters in the discard pile from the game until it to turn your characters get a bonus to attack equal to twice the number of characters removed. Your undead gain an equal bonus. Perform this without spending. Ergrat. Nothrog Ranger. Looks more like a berserker to me, but uh, okay. Hex stars more. Free kingdoms barbarian. If it's the first turn, hexes melee strikes are critical successes. Well, if you can get him up to rank one, then be my guest. <coughs> Thrust. Discard any number of cards, perform a plus zero melee strike. That's plus five for each card discarded. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know much about dungeon. Frozen Servant. Fifth level wizard familiar item, the plus two AC. After wounding a Opposing character discard a card. The target must succeed with the magic save, DC 15, or 18 if the caster is illusionist or becomes stunned. Dame Olivia. Level 3 wizard. Plus 6 attack, 13 AC, 2 hit points. Jeez. For a wizard, that's ridiculous. 
Uh, her range strikes have plus two bonus to the roll for each spell in your discard pile. Remove a spell. Once per turn, remove a spell in your discard pile from the game. Perform a plus zero range strike. F Feral. Nothrog Berserker, level 4, plus 5, plus 5, 10 AC, uh, 2 hit points, day, Daybreak, React. After he enters play, if it's the first turn, move him forward 3 ranks. Kill him at the end of turn. Sure. Nightfall, after he enters play, if it's not the first turn, and he and one other of your Nothrogs that have not any permanent HP gain plus one HP permanently. Acolyte Chastin. We saw him in a previous pack opening. Ways of War. <clears throat> I like this because it is a fighter action for Rangers, Paladins, and Barbarians. And Zenith. We actually saw that one last night as well. Or in a previous video. Uh, speaking of previous videos, I will link this in the description. There's going to be a lot of duplicates here uh, because this is a small set. A level 2 fighter uh, item spend order. You may discard one of the revealed characters. If you do, the opponent may draw a card. After you equip Gosmer man, uh, Mantle, if the character is a ranger, move forward one rank. Vermin Swarm. Free Kingdoms level 2 rogue, plus 3 attack, 12 AC. Scout Monster. Daybreak, order, once per turn, if it's the first turn, perform a plus two ranged. Nightfall, order, once per turn, if it's not the first turn, move forward or backward one rank. Uh, Crescent, plus seven, x 13 AC on a level two Northrod Berserker fighter. Uh, after Crescent performs an attack, inflict a wound on one of your Northrod. Okay, he ain't messing around. Dazzling Aptitude. Level 4 with target character counts as two additional characters for determining the end of turn. Spend Order. Put Dazzling Aptitude into play in your first rank as a level 3 wizard, plus 2 attack, 10 AC, plus 4 skill, 2 hit points, and the ability. Spend Order. Return Dazzling Aptitude to your hand. Just stand there and taunt you, I see. Uh, Doril. Level 3 Rogue Nothrock Scout. Plus 4 attack, 15 AC, 2 hit points. Daybreak. Order once per turn. If the first turn, put a charge counter on it. Um, Nightfall once per game. If it's not the first turn, put a charge counter on it. Spend order. Perform a plus three range strike for each charge counter on the round. Curse of the Broken Spire. Level three wizard and uh, three ranks. Two ranks if the caster is illusionist. Must eight plus the caster skill plus five if he's a necromancer. Or suffer a wound. And if the caster is a summoner, you may search your deck for an equal or lower level character and put it into your hand. That's a lot of words. Uh, Yaskarti Sentry. Level 1 um, Cleric, Free Kingdoms Druid, Lickanthrope, Monster Attack, 12 AC. If this is the first turn to play, have plus 2 AC. Um, while wow, this card's in your discard. If it is not your first turn, your characters in play are lycanthrops if you have two or more copies 
of this card in your discard box. <laughs> so very interesting. Action after action that does not produce melee strikes target a character in this rank, redirect that action to this character. Symbols of Unity Armor plus 2 AC. This is a faith set item. Once per turn, spend a cleric in your army and name a subclass. Until the end of turn, characters in your army with that subclass for each faith set item equipped to this character. Sidor the Avenged, our previous video, cast a dang crest, level 7 uh, item, plus 2 AC, you may not equip armor. Uh, react, after a me melee or range strike targets this character, discard a card. The strike receives no bonuses. The illusions just may perform <clears throat> this react once per turn without discarding a card. Level 1 Elf Assassin Rogue. Plus 1 attack of 11 AC. It has plus 1 levels while in an opposing formation. Nightfall, if it's not the first turn, um, Skedis may enter play in the front rank of any army. Just plop him right down. Balios. After an opposing character performs an order, spend Balios. If it's not the first turn, move forward or backward rank. Quest is a level one fighter dwarf paladin plus two at first turn he gained plus one HP permanently. Nightfall, not the first turn. Quest has plus four AC. Nildrak, level three. Elf Assassin Rogue, plus 5 attack, 14 AC, 2 hit points. Uh, Daybreak, Spin React, after entering play, if this is the first turn, Nidrak has minus 1 HP permanently and moves to the first rank of an opposing army. Nightfall, once per turn, discard a card. If it's not the first turn, perform a melee strike that inflicts an additional wound against spent characters. <clears throat> Shadow Lurkers. Level 3 Mercenary Monster. Uh, uh, rogue. Uh, plus 2 attack, plus 1 attack. 13 AC, 2 hit points. Dungeons have plus 3 challenge rating. Shadow Lurkers have plus 3 attack, AC, and skill if there's a dungeon in play. And... Valdinia Calix, level 2 Cleric, Elf Druid, plus 1 attack, 11 AC. Daybreak, Spin React, after a target opposing character moves without spending or stunning. If this is the first turn, the target must succeed with a will save, DC 16, or spend, stun if already spent. And Madness Fire Gargoyle. Third level fighter, Dwarf Barbarian Gargoyle, plus four, AC, plus four attacks, react uh, after Madness inflict a wound on him. If it's the first turn, he per permanently gains plus four AC. React once per turn after a wound is removed from Madness Fire Gargoyle. If it is not the first turn, he permanently gains an additional melee strike, base plus four whenever he attacks. Yeah. 
He just wants to punch things. <clears throat> Igrat, <clears throat> Hex, Thrust, Hollow Secrets, Ooh. <clears throat> Frozen Servant, there's another Olivia. Rouse. Now, normally I don't like the foils that have been up to this point. These are beautiful. Subtle and just gorgeous. Um, Dwarf Bard, level plus 7, plus 3, 17 AC, 3 hit points. Daybreak, after, a, uh, after Rouse enters play, if it's the first turn, ready up to two characters in your army. Nightfall, if it is not your first turn, you must have a character in rank 4 to play Rouse, and he enters play in rank 1 stunned with 1 wound. Uh, I think we saw this in the battle. A fourth level elf rogue bard uh, plus four ranks must succeed with a magic save DC 20 or cannot perform actions this turn. Brilliant Bound, level 3 rogue, action, nightfall, order, if this isn't the first turn, move forward or backward, up to two ranks. Bound into play in the first rank is a level 1 rogue, plus 2 attack, 12 AC, two, plus 2 skill, 2 hit points, stealth plus 7, and the ability, uh, spend order, return Brilliant Bound to your hand. Oh, so it's a cycle. And Isle of Ice. <clears throat> All right, Sador, so the Crest, Skittis, Balos, Quest, Rattle the Bones, Eggert, Luminous Cure, Level 3 Cleric, Action, Nightfall, before target character suffers a wound, inflict a wound on one of your characters. If it's not the first turn, reduce the wounds on the target by one. Spend order. Put this card into play in your first rank as a level one cleric. Plus one attack, 13 AC, plus three skill, two hit points, medicine plus seven, and the ability. Spend order. Return this to your hand. Well, cohort's Arc. Level seven cleric item. Uh, part of the face set. Order once per turn, spend the cleric in your army, search your deck for a faith set item, and put it into your hand. Once per turn, spend a cleric in your army. The character may use the ability time per turn. <clears throat> Destruction. Level 5, Dwarf Fighter Barbarian Hero Unique. Attacks plus 8, plus 3, 15 AC, 4 hit points. React. After entering play, search your deck for a level 8 or lower item and equip it to destruction. React. Once per turn, up to destruction, equips an item. Ready him. Well, that's a beating. Badrock's Fire Dancer. Level 3, no Attacks plus one, plus four, plus one, 14 AC. May cast wizard spells. After Badrock uh, casts a spell, target not and some complexity creep um, toward this. Um, <clears throat> Obviously, I don't mind it because I played enough of it, but I could see where new players would have problems. Symbols of Unity, Sidor, The Crest, Skittis, Balos, Quest, Rattle the Bones, Non-Foiled Rouse, Subvert, 
Level 4 uh, Rogue Action, Scouts Perform Without Spending. Spend order, look at the top five cards of your deck, discard one of those cards, and Nadir, level six, cleric and wizard familiar item. Your characters with nightfall have plus two AC. If it's not the first turn, they also have plus two skill. Order, spend and destroy Nadir. Search your deck for a card name Clarion and equip it to this character spent. Nostrum's Whisper. Uh, seventh level wizard react after performing an action that put target character into play um, spend this the character permanently gains plus three attack plus three skill and plus one hit point if the, this character is a summoner react after this character inflicts a wound on a, s a summoned character kill that character I was hoping we'd... I, I guess I can't say I was hoping we'd get more duplicates, but I knew the rares were going to be a little more difficult. Sedine Gleason, level 2 uh, Free Kingdoms Fighter Ranger, plus 2 attack, 13 AC. Order, once per turn, if it's the first turn, um, Nightfall, if it's not your first turn, so Lena Gleason has an additional strike. Uh, Faceless, we saw him last night, or previous video, Lord Tuathal, uh, Artal, we saw that. Lightspawn, level 1 fighter mercenary monster, plus 2 attack, 11 AC. If they're d the dungeon in play, Lightspawn has... Stealth plus 15 and is plus one level for using stealth. Okay. Symbol of unity. Lessiar. Uh, level four mercenary monster wizard. Plus five attack, 13 AC, two hit points. Once per turn, if there's a dungeon in play, then two ranks plus 60 with the magic plus the challenge rating of a dungeon or suffer a wound and become spent. Arbrose. Fifth level fighter Nazarog Barbarian Unique. Plus 10 attack, plus 5 attack, 16 AC, 4 hit points. Order, kill another of your Nothrog. Perform a melee strike. Permanently kill the target. Shadow Lurker and Elena the Fervent we saw uh, on a previous video. Odd roll saw that one previously. Sir Francis de Graves, level four Deverinian Paladin fighter. Um, two plus zero attacks, 15 AC, three hit points. Daybreak order. Once per turn, if it's the first turn, ready and equip steed. Nightfall, if it's not the first turn, he has a bonus to attack equal to the level of the highest level steed he has equipped. Nostrum's Whisper. Lauren, level 2 rogue, Free Kingdom's Assassin. Uh, plus 1 attack, 13 AC. React. After lowering initials play, if it's the first turn, perform a plus eight range strike targeting any character equal or lower level in play. Nightfall. If it's not the first turn, his melee strikes inflict 
Isle of Madness. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Completely fill my nerd. Isle of Wind. Phantasmal Panther. Level 7 Rogue Familiar. Nightfall Order. If it's not the first turn, spend Phantasmal Panther. Uh, it performs a melee strike as if it were a level 3 Rogue Assassin with plus 4 attack, 14 AC, 1 hit point, 5 skill, and power attack 5. <clears throat> Flaming Spirit. Um, level 1 Fighter Elf Undead. Plus 0 attack, 8 AC. If there's an illusionist within one rank, uh, he is. Uh, if there's a summoner within one rank, he, this character has plus 1 HP. And if there's a necromancer within one rank of this character, wounds from his melee strikes may not be reduced. Uh, we saw him last night. Yes. Car rag. Level 1 Nothrog Fighter Ranger. Plus 2 attack, 10 AC. Daybreak. After this character enters play, if it's the first turn, draw a card. <clears throat> Belinda. Level 1 Mercenary Summoner Monster Wizard. Plus 1 attack, 11 AC. Nightfall. Spin React. After you bring this character into play, if it's not the first turn, move the character forward. They draw Isle of Fire. Oh, a little bit of damage there. Uh, Clarion. Level 6 um, Cleric item familiar. Once per turn, after you roll initiative, ready a character in your army. Okay. Uh, order. Spend and destroy Clarion. Search your deck for a card named Zenith and equip it to this character spent. Spectre of Madness. Level 2 Elf Undead Wizard. Plus 2 attack. What do you spend order? Remove this card from the game and target item within two ranks. And this card and this dude has an ability to spend order perform a ranged four strike. Stockpile. Level 3 Dwarf Wizard. Uh, plus 2 attack, 14 AC. Uh, 2 hit points. Spend order. Return target item within 1 rank to owner's hand. React once per turn after a dwarf in your army equips an item. If it's not the first turn, the target may perform an additional order after the current one. Belinda neutralize. Uh, level 2 rogue action. Order. Discard X cards. Inflict a wound on target character within one rank whose level is equal to X plus 1. Hayden Riss. Level 1 rogue free kingdoms bard. After a melee or range strike that missed Hayden in this rank gain plus two attack plus two AC until end of turn. Uh, we saw this guy in my previous opening. We saw Embrace Death. And we have a foiled Lysiar. Twisted Shade. Level 4 Assassin, Elf Assassin Necromancer. Uh, he's a wizard and a rogue and enters play if he was a level higher. Plus 8 attack, 15 AC, 3 hit points. Order, kill target elf you control. Do one of the following. All characters 
in the rank the target was in must succeed with a reflex save or suffer a wound. Move a character that was in within one rank of the target into, obviously, this is so you can be in your opponent's ranks. Uh, Vicious Ambrose, we had that one the night before. And we also had Sustaining Aura. That's another one that, depending on what your class is, um, or your special talent, etc., you get different bonuses there. Evoke Crisis. Level 1 ranged or level one wizard, range strike rank. Discard any number of cards, perform a plus two range strike. Perform a plus zero range strike for each card discarded. Lambaste, level four cleric, dwarf cantor. Plus 5 attack, 15 AC, 2 wounds. Wounded dwarfs in this rank have plus 5 attack. Adjacent dwarf. Aliciano Sarasian, level 4 uh, elf ranger fighter, may equip 2 weapons. Plus 6, plus 4, 15 AC, 3 hit points. Once per turn, after killing an opposing character with a melee strike, remove it from the game. Perform a range strike equal to the level of the killed character. The first turn, move forward or backward. One rank. Devotion, I think we saw that last night. Atheon. Level 7 fight, uh, Fighter Class Steed. Spend order. Perform a Charisma check. DC 11. If successful, target each character in your army that shares a subclass with this character. You may move each target forward or backward one rank. Super Cavalry. Uh, Gladys 2. Cleric. Dwarf Lycanthrop, plus 2 attack, 13 AC, 1 hit point. She enters play if it's the first turn, move target character in any first rank backwards one rank. React after she enters play if it's not the first turn, move a character forward one rank. And Danriz, a level 1 Dwarf Cantor. Cleric, uh, plus one attack, 11 AC, 1 HP. Spend React before a dwarf within one rank suffers wounds. If it's the first turn, reduce the wounds by one. Uh, react before Danris dies. If it isn't the first turn, adjacent dwarfs gain plus four attack until end of turn. Wheels within wheels. Level 3 rogue action. React. After this rogue targets a melee or range strike. If the character is an assassin, the strike inflicts an additional wound. If the character is a bard, target has plus 3 attack, AC, and skill until end of turn. If the character is a retarget, the strike to a character an additional rank away. Robert Mason, uh, fourth level, Free Kingdoms Fighter Ranger, attacks plus five, plus two, 14 AC, two hit points, order once per turn, move a ranger in your army forward or backward one rank. Get Auk, level three, 
Nothrog Wizard. Plus counter on him. Order. Draw a card for each charge counter on him and then kill him. Adlon Dathir. Cleric Mercenary Monster. Plus one attack, 12 AC, one hit point. Dungeons in play have plus two challenge rating. React. Once per turn, after you put a dungeon into play, this character gains plus one HP permanently. Well, I'm going to have to sit down and read the rules. Again, I, I know nothing about dungeons. We was not something I had to deal with during the early days. It was very much a late thing. Fascinate. Level 4 Rogue. In your discard pile, bards may play it as if it were in your hand, then remove it from the game. React. After an action that does not produce melee strikes target a character, the acting character must succeed with a perception check, DC 8 plus the, this rogue skill, or become stunned, and the action is cancelled. Another sentry, another chastin, another ways of war. <clears throat> I guess we're just now about halfway through this. Taken longer than I had expected, but I am reading more of the cards than I expected because I expected to have more duplicates before now. Uh, Privian, level five fighter, elf paladin, undead, ethereal, plus five, plus two attacks, eight AC one hit point. Uh, after ending play, if it's the first turn, move forward one rank and gain power attack plus 10 permanently. React. After entering play, if it's not the first turn, permanently gain plus one hit point. And after you roll initiative, opposing characters within one rank must succeed with a magic save, DC 11, or suffer a wound. That's a banger. No. Uh, the real Curse of Broken Spire. <clears throat> All right. Nim Talk, level four Nothrog Druid Cleric. Plus four, 8, plus 4, 14 AC, 2 hit points. If it's your first turn, your Nothrog inflicts an additional wound with melee strikes. If it's not your first turn, your Nothrog in this rank have power attack plus 5. Uh, another Cohort's Arc, Shadow Lurkers, and Valdana. Pirates of Feek. Level 5, Deverinian Cleric, Cantor Seer Unique. Attack 16 AC, 3 hit points. Uh, after she enters play, if it's the first turn, characters in your first rank have to see until end of turn. React after she enters play, if it's not the first turn, search your deck for a card and put it on top of your deck. Daniela, <clears throat> level 3 Deverinian Rogue Bard, plus 3 attack, plus 1 attack, 14 AC, 2 hit points. Order, discard a card, target character within 1 rank has plus 3 attack, plus 3 skill until end of turn. 
order once per turn. If it's not your first turn, target character within two ranks has minus one AC and minus one attack for each action card in your discard pile. Close combat. Level three fighter action. Order, move forward one rank if possible. If this character is a barbarian, he may perform a plus four melee strike. If this character is a paladin until end of turn, characters in the same rank as him may stay. If this character is a ranger, you may move another character in your army far and halicron. Uh, once per turn after you roll initiative, stun a character in your army. Stun a non warlord character of equal or lower than your character. Order. Spend and destroy Halicron. Search your deck for a card named Nadir and equip it to this character spent. So all of those target and replace themselves at some point, which is interesting. Hex thrust out of secrets. Satan Aldir, level one, free kingdoms, lycanthrop fighter. Plus zero attack, 13 AC, one hit point. He enters place spent. Nightfall, if it's not your first turn, um, he enters play in rank three and has plus three attack, AC, and skill, plus two hit points, and two additional base plus zero strikes. Spend order, return him to your hand. That's interesting. Nario Yiskar. Level four fighter, free kingdom ranger, attacks of plus three, two, and one, 13 AC, two hit points. Your rangers in play are considered to have the lycanthrope trait. Your lycanthrope in play are considered to have the ranger trait. Donero Rowan, plus uh, level two elf ranger, or excuse me, Elf Scout, plus two attack, 10 AC, one hit point. Uh, spend order, if it's your first turn, perform two plus zero ranged attacks, that's stun instead of wound. Nightfall, if it is not your first turn, he has plus, he has minus four AC, a skill check, DC 16, to inflict a wound on a character within one rank. Yes, that is a mouthful. Crown of the Isles, level 8 wizard item, Helm, two charges, plus order, remove X charges and spend the crown, put a character of level less than X into play from your discard pile. React, once per turn, after this character kills a character, if it is not the first turn, put a charge counter on the crown. Necromancers may perform this action more than once per turn. Uh, wheels, Twisted Shade, and Bishop. Pharaoh Yiskar. Uh, level three rogue, three kingdoms like in throb. Four plus three attack, 13 AC, two hit points. If it is the first turn, fair attack for each charge counter on him, 
and has the drag plus zero base when he attacks and plus two attack for each charge on him. So in other words, find a way to put more than one charge counter on him. All right, so the four lumens cure, which is a, a duplicate. That's okay. Gadok and the deer. How many packs left if we want to pull a uh, um, a god pack? Shedlon, Helena Seer. Uh, Bastion of Bascaron, Isle of Madness, Abros, and so <clears throat> I guess this is one one way to to make sure it's always the first turn. Spiteful. Level 3 uh, Rogue Dwarf Assassin. Plus 6. Nightfall. After a target opposing character kills an adjacent dwarf, if it is not the first turn, melee strikes by assassins in your army. Inflict an additional wound against the target until end of turn. All right, last pack of magic, guys. Calamity Steel, level four fighter weapon. Or react. After this character kills an opposing character, this character has plus three attack and plus one AC until end of turn. Order. Spend Calamity Steel. If this character is a barbarian and has 24 or more attack, ready him? Oh, I guess you can use the attack multiple times. All right, guys, <clears throat> thank you for joining me on this journey through light and shadow. Uh, I will, I am planning on picking up more older product as I can. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought was uh, your favorite poll. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell uh, so that you know when new videos drop. And until next time.